September 3rd at 3.30 in the morning, so our international monitoring system of station uh, detected an unusual uh, seismic signal, uh, much larger than the one that, uh, uh, I mean, if I can use this word, we used to, uh, because we've had six DPRK, and this six uh, uh, ANOS test seems to be of a much larger magnitude. The physics of uh, the signal uh, were estimated to be uh, of a body wave magnitude of 6 this morning for September. Yesterday we were mentioning 5.8, uh, 5.9, but we're talking about 6. 6, that's the largest we've ever detected in our international monitoring system uh, with regard to any uh, blast or explosive testing uh, since the inception of the, the Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty and its uh, verification regime in the build-up. We hope and this is our, what we urge the international community, that this time uh, becomes and remain the, the last wake-up call for the international community to act on this issue and then to stop the DPRK from further testing and then to adhere to international norm and international uh, security resolution so far. With the treaty in force, with the Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty in force, there will be no room for testing. There will be no room, we'll talk about testing as history, and that's what we need. What is certain this time is that the physics of this event shows quite a large, large event. I think it only means that the nuclear weapon program of the DPRK has reached a serious and a different level. And that's what is concerning to the international community today.